Well, good morning, everyone. After some much needed rainfall overnight, we're left with some patchy fog this morning. This is a view down to the south along I-75 near Botkins. We can see some fog out there this morning. This fog is fairly patchy in nature, so not everybody's seeing it. As we look at current temperatures running in the mid-60s, we are reporting mostly cloudy skies for most locations to get our Thursday started. And again, those few patches of fog, but we notice most locations reporting visibility at decent around five miles or so. So again, it's not a big issue out there, and any fog that we see should be dissipating after 8 o'clock this morning. But last night, we had some more beneficial rainfall. We'll take every drop we can get, and pretty much every spot in our area got at least something so that is good news the certainly the higher amounts as expected when we talked yesterday we said our southern counties would have the best chance to get those higher amounts and we saw locations like sydney come in almost one inch of rain almost three quarters of an inch around salina then as we get to new bremen we had just about a half inch of rain arlington just a, under a quarter inch at around allen county airport much of lima came in around or just under two tenths of an inch of rain and then a little bit less to the north in Ottawa. So today we're going to see a clearing trend. The clouds will decrease. We'll give way to some sunshine, a nice pleasant breeze, and temperatures today at 80 degrees. So it's another day slightly below average for this time of year. We'll start to bring back some humidity again tomorrow afternoon. With our next front approaching, that brings the opportunity for isolated thunderstorms tomorrow and on Saturday. But the key word here is isolated. Certainly not any reason to cancel any outdoor plans, but just something to be aware that the possibility is there. As far as any severe weather, a lot of that's going to really take shape west of here tomorrow. We can see there's a risk across parts of Minnesota, Wisconsin, Illinois, and then a very low end risk that goes all the way to about Defiance County. So again, we could get a stray stronger storm to our north tomorrow evening, but most of us will not get in on severe weather. As we move forward into Saturday's forecast, as the front pushes south, it'll put the best severe threat in kind of the southern third of Ohio, but we'll see at least a low end chance over the southern half of the area on Saturday. So we'll keep an eye on the isolated strong storm chance in there as well. But again, as we look at our forecast today, we note the clearing skies by 1130 this morning. We're in the upper 60s to low 70s, enjoying quite a bit of sunshine. And then this afternoon, a nice looking sky with a partly cloudy conditions and just a low chance that we could spark a very stray shower up to the north. But as you can see, it's going to be a really nice afternoon. And we notice the winds a bit breezy out of the west today. We'll have winds around 10 to 15 miles per hour, just enough to really make things comfortable outside. As we go throughout your evening, we'll see temperatures fall from the low 70s at 9 p.m. As we head into tomorrow morning, down into the low to mid 60s, we'll kick off Friday with dry conditions. And as we go throughout the day tomorrow, much of the day is dry, but we note in the afternoon hours a isolated thunderstorm is possible the better chance to the northwest it can be mentioned around defiance county there's that marginal severe threat tomorrow we know a couple storms moving through mainly north tomorrow evening but as we head throughout tomorrow night just a couple isolated thunderstorms and as we go throughout saturday with the front pushing in we'll see the chance for a couple isolated thunderstorms mainly as we head into the afternoon hours so here's your weekend in more detail saturday it's a bit more of a typical August forecast with the humidity levels creeping up Saturday 85 and then Sunday looks like the pig day. We're going to see a drop in humidity levels, lots of sunshine and dry conditions. So by and large, it's a pretty nice weekend. Again, that chance of storm Saturday is not going to impact plans too much out there. As we look at your next seven days, more opportunities for rain. We got three cold fronts coming through over the next week. So it's Friday into Saturday, next chance of rain. And then Monday looks like a little more widespread coverage of showers and thunderstorms. And then we'll look at cooler weather in the wake of that system, a high of only 77 next Tuesday.